Grandmaster Tom Leach at Sacatucket Harbor. Pressure washing of commercial fishing vessels in the fleet. We hope this sets an example for the rest of the commercial fishing vessel operators. We only allow uh, boats that have the proper highway trough loading permit to do this kind of work in our parking lot and we do this one vessel at a time so to try to keep everything under control. This is the Kelly J being pressure washed here at Sacquatucket Harbor. It has a uh, mat laid down and uh, here you can see the water pooling from below. Um, this water has to be collected. Roughly about 50 gallons of water it takes to pressure wash uh, a boat like this. Quite a volume. Collect it all on the tarp and uh, we're good to go. Now we'll have to suck that all up. Get rid of it. But that saves that from going down to our storm drains, which is really important here at Sacramento. Of course, you can make a big mess with a lot of blue bottom paint. So this is an effort from the fishing fleet to recapture all that material uh, and save it from getting into the harbor and Polluting. This is a, why is this all important? This is a storm drain that's immediately downgrade from the site. And uh, of course, inside our storm drain, we have baffles that uh, can, are very important in containing the situation. This uh, means that there's a lot more effort on the part of the commercial fishermen. However, it also means that uh, Cape Cod is, is spared. Um, being polluted here at Sacquatucket Harbor. Looking at this system a little bit more closely, we have a wet vac that's used to pick up the pool of, of wash water. Um, and as you can see, the dam is created here by folding the uh, tarp over a two by four frame that surrounds the vessel. Of course, you have to determine where the low side is. That's where all the water would pool right here on the low side. Way to go, a-hole!